Hey guys, Daz here, and join with me is two very special guests. I have Murdy Shaw, Esports Manager of Operations at Psyonix, and Cliff Shoemaker, Director of Esports at Psyonix. Guys, let's talk about this league expansion. Just, just jump right into it. Guys, what's up? Uh, man, expectations about this thing, expectations for RLCS to grow year after year. Man, we're doing it. We're growing it big this time. We got some huge things to announce here, huge new places to hit on. Murdy? Yeah. So we're super excited to announce that we're introducing Asia Pacific North, Asia Pacific South, MENA, which is Middle East and North Africa, and SSA, Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, these include countries like Saudi Arabia, India, Japan, and th even the super passionate fan base in South Africa. Okay, just, just let that sink in. Because you guys, because you, you said it so fast, I don't think everybody, you know, I still got details, I still got breathe. details. You gotta let it breathe, you gotta let it breathe. Oh my goodness. I mean, you're, we're finally gonna be able to see teams like Stan Rock, you know, people like Realize actually playing in the RLCS. That's yeah. absolutely amazing. This is something that, you know, we never thought that, I mean, some people never thought they'd be able to see, but now it's here. Talk to me about how you guys plan on supporting those regions. Great question. So every single region in the RLCS will share the same formats, right? SSA is gonna work a little bit differently. I'll go into them in just a second. But basically every single region that is now an RLCS region is going to have three splits. They'll have the fall, winter, or spring split. They're gonna have uh, chances to go to the majors and they're gonna have a chance to go to the world championship. That's what everyone's fighting for. So we're super stoked about that. SSA is gonna be slightly different. They're not gonna be able to go to the majors just yet, but they still can qualify for the new world championship wildcard event, which we're gonna talk about later. So we're gonna be able to see these guys in international events, that's what you're telling me? Yes, absolutely. We are we're gonna see the entire world compete against each other, pretty much. Oh boy. Okay, I'm getting excited, I'm getting excited. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, now, of course, everybody's gonna wanna you know, follow all of this, right? They're gonna wanna keep track of all, all their teams in terms of like uh, broadcast and watching the broadcast. I know you talked about the format a little bit, but in terms of how we are gonna be able to watch these matches, are, are they all gonna happen on the Rocket League channel or where are we gonna be able to see Guys, guys it's super cool. So we're partnering with our uh, production team, DreamHack, and we're gonna create individual streams for each one of these regions, right? So we're gonna make sure it's authentic, gonna make sure it's uh, appropriate for each one of these that it hits those communities that it makes sure it feels absolutely authentic to what we what we're trying to do here it's a huge win for us I yeah absolutely um we're even working with community members from those regions if you guys know niche from apl they put on the kickoff back last summer super cool tournaments yeah. i'm pretty sure sandrock gaming dominated that like yeah. easily they just ran through the, the whole bracket but uh niche for example he's going to be helping run to uh for asia um, and we're working with so many other awesome, talented, just amazing members of those communities. And we really want to make sure we bring the RLCS to these regions correctly. I can just see the smile on Johnny Boy's face right now. <laughs> the huge grin. Yeah. And, and you know that that same grin is echoed throughout the community because, you know, again, people like Johnny, people like Nish have been supporting these regions for a yeah. very long time. We've been following their own story, seeing exactly how they've gotten so good. I mean, when we watched Sandrock for the first time and when we saw them also compete against the top of Europe with you know, mm -hmm. some of Johnny Boy's tournaments and how they kind of stunned the scene, everybody was like, we have to get them in the RLCS. They, they, you know, they were very vocal to the point where I'm, I'm sure Murdy's been tagged probably like a hundred thousand times at this point. But I mean, the, at least from my perspective, that's the community feel and feedback. But I mean, what was that like for you guys being able to watch all that? Uh, they don't tag me on Twitter yet. I'll give it to Murdy. Use him, please. But I, I know, you know, we hear it, right? We hear it. We see it. We read through it. We know. We know this fan base. We know they're ready to comp compete at the highest level here in the RLCS. It's exactly why we're here today, right? We finally got it right. We finally were able to put it together to make sure it was the right time to do this. And here it is. Yeah. What's super weird is people started to tag Johnny more than me <laughs> back in like 2020. I don't know what happened there, but I'm, I, I love it. Like, let's see it on me. That's fine. But yeah, I do get tagged on Twitter. Like all the pros, LCT, Realize, Khaled, Senzo, Amit, right? Like there's so many talented people over there. Shout out to you guys. It's your time. Let's see you guys on the pitch. I mean, that's great. And, you know, it's crazy, too, to have all of these regions added now. Like, I mean, we talk about the past where you had, OK, OCEs being added here. And then you have Sam, you know, it was one region at a time kind of deal. But now it's a bunch of regions all at once, all now. 
So you got, talk to me about the timing in this and why you wanted to add all the regions this season. Yeah, great question. So we're always looking at competitive data, right? The one thing we want to make sure is that there's deep player depth, right? There's a lot of good players in those regions. So after looking at that, we feel super confident that there is that now and we can introduce super competitive leagues in these regions. Obviously free to play was a huge boost for that, right? That helped us a lot in getting a lot more players in those regions. Um, and people may ask like, hey, why didn't you add them in RLCSX? Honestly, RLCSX was such a massive format change that we just wanted to make sure we did everything correctly, right? We wanted to make sure the format ran smoothly, the tournaments worked, all the different refinements we're making, the improvements we're making is because we saw what we did in RLCSX and we want to build upon that. Yeah, kudos to the team for putting out a tremendous product at the end of the day at RLCSX. Handed a, a crazy uh, hand with that season in general, but absolutely the time is now to expand this thing, bring those players in. That's great. And you know, I, it's gonna be so cool to see everybody following their favorite teams, cheering on their favorite teams. Perhaps, let me know, are we gonna be able to see, you know, esports decals? I, you know, I need to stand right game the esports <laughs> decal. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know. I got so much news on the esports shop for you. We're not getting Middle East and Asia yet, but we are making change to the overall structure of the esports shop, which will accommodate those changes in the future, in the near future. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll, I'll chill out for now. For now. Yeah. Uh, but gentlemen, I mean, it's it's always such a pleasure to be able to talk to you guys. You know, I wish we could do it more. That being said, the community, I'm sure, definitely appreciates it. But are there any words that you guys have for the community? First and first, best, thank you. Community, thank you. Again, I hope you guys can tell we're just massive fans here. We believe this stuff. We are, I know the reaction was real from you about us sharing this expansion role here. So us being able to share this massive, massive win for the team, for our fans and for our players around the world. Awesome. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And it, and it just feels really good to finally tell these players like, hey, we, we heard you guys, we see you guys and it's your time. Right, shout out to all the people in the community uh, in those regions that have been putting in so many hours day in and day out to support those scenes. Um, and we just can't wait to get started. This is so cool, man. Just, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready, I'm Let's ready, go. okay? Me okay. Too, right. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to my chair, but guys, thank you so much. It's honestly such a pleasure to be able to talk to you guys. I appreciate it so much and I'm, I'm excited for the next season when it gets started. Thanks, okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right, we're gonna send it back to the casters to get the reactions.